Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and this is a photograph from the Ideal National Championship that we just had last week, and I put up a video about this board. It's called a violation board. You're supposed to find the NEC violations, and there's $60,000 on the line for the winner and so forth. The thing of it is, if you call it a violation that isn't a violation, they take off points. So you can't just throw mud at the wall. You have to know what is the code and what isn't the code. Now, a lot of my viewers, my eagle eye viewers, you know, I got tremendous viewers at Sparky Channel. I mean, they're really, really good. It's amazing. I pointed out that these EMT runs are too close to the edge of the wooden stud and they need nail plates because of that. And others uh, chime in and say, ah, yeah, but it's not a code violation because it's EMT. EMT has protection anyway. Let's do a deep dive and figure out who's right and who's wrong. So I'm going to crack open my code book to Article 358, Electrical Metallic Tubing Type EMT. But first, let me show you this from Article 330.17. This is about MC cable, metal clad cable. It's not EMT, but it gives you an idea. MC cable through framing members. And we have an inch and a quarter right here, an inch and a quarter right here. And it says uh, one and a quarter inch or more, no steel plate required. This one right here, uh, board hole less than one and a quarter inch, steel plate required. And this is a notch, notch if permitted, steel plate required. So this is MC cable, but this is what we're talking about. Uh, putting the EMT right in the middle of the stud. I don't think anyone is wanting to put a steel plate when it's right in the middle of the stud like that. What we're talking about is, is something like this. It's very close to the edge. It's even closer than this, but with EMT. So let's go to uh, Article 358 and see what we can find out about EMT. This is Article 358.10e, physical damage. And of course, we're talking about EMT right now. Steel and stainless steel EMT shall be permitted to be installed where subject to physical damage. But wait, there's more. This is 358.12. Use is not permitted. Okay. EMT shall not be used under the following conditions. One, we're subject to severe. Woo Severe physical damage. The last article said you can use it where subject to physical damage. But now this very next article, 358.12, says you cannot use EMT where subject to severe physical damage. So now that we've gone over the codes, let me give you my interpretation or my opinion of the code. Okay, it's important that you differentiate between my interpretation and the actual code, all right? You can have your opinion and your interpretation too. So for me, I think that these pieces of EMT are in line for severe damage because guys that have worked for me can easily get screws through that EMT. They're good at stuff like that. You wouldn't think it's possible, but they can do it. And when you put a screw into EMT with live conduit into it, that is a severe problem, okay? <laughs> so my opinion is you need nail plates when you're this far towards the edge of the wood. I mean, there's that looks like there's only like a half inch left, maybe, maybe a quarter inch. It's, it's pretty darn close to the edge. And I think those EMTs are in a position where they're subject to severe damage. So I think that in this case, they would have to have nail plates over them to protect them. So let me know in the video description below if you think that this is a code violation. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful. Stop!